I think we're live. Are we live? It looks like it's live. Let's quickly wait and refresh this. Just in case. Last live stream, 13th of December. If we are Just live, what we'll do is we'll tweet this out. Put it up on digibyte.social. Alright. So, what we have today is the SafePal wallet here. So, we'll get to that in a minute. Before we do, let's see what it's saying here. Where are the stream stats? Why is it going red? <clears throat> Network is dropping frames. Eight megabits should be heaps. All right, let's see how this is going. Let's bring up that live chat over here. How many did you buy to stroke my beard? Oh, I don't know, man. Oh, you mean you want to? <laughs> All right, um, so. The app here is complaining, saying that we're losing, we're losing data. But I'm running speed tests and everything, it looks fine. Let me know if you can hear me okay, or if there are any issues. I mean, if I give it a quick wave, how are things looking? Yeah, currently getting like 500 megabits. Should be plenty fine. Sound okay there? You can hear the voice. I mean, that's that's the main thing, right? <laughs> All right. I wonder if I stop recording. Let's try this. And just do. All right, let's see how this goes then. I've got the video open. It looks cool. So the plan today is that I want to do the, the SafePal wallet like I kind of mentioned, actually. Maybe let me just quickly move this a little bit so I can keep that up. So I can see what's going on, and can we pop the chat out as well? Let's pop out the chat. Cool. Oh, even better. Why don't we take the chat and let's pop it up on screen. What could possibly go wrong with having live chat on screen? <laughs> Fitness Elite says, sounds good. Awesome, thanks, man. Okay, so I don't know what's going on, but the app itself is reporting that I'm dropping like 50% of all frames. So by all accounts, this shouldn't be working, if it was being completely honest. So I don't know what it's on about, but... Whatever, it's cool. So let's quickly cover off today's daily Digibyte update. So Digibyte.community have basically gone and put a post up about not your keys, not your crypto. This is the Trace Mayo proof of keys movement. So uh, what they've basically said here is here are some of the, the wallets that support Digibyte that you can save, store, spend, keep hold of your Digibyte on. Really cool. So DigibyteWallets.com. Actually, why don't we even just open this up real quick? Um, and this proof of, key, proof of keys movement, the idea is that you take your crypto off of an exchange, you take your Digibyte off of an exchange, you take your Bitcoin off of an exchange, and you prove that you have the keys. The idea being that if it was a bank, the bank can kind of lend out and re-lend out and re-lend out again that same money. But with a fixed supply, such as Digibyte or Bitcoin, if everybody goes and they take their crypto off of the exchange, then they're basically going to get caught out if they try doing anything like that, like fudging their own books, for example. So anyway, digibytewallets.com is actually really cool. They've got a whole lot of really cool stuff here. So we can see we've got the main core wallet, the mobile wallets. We've got a bunch of other ones here. That's a lot. Coinomi, Exodus, Atomic, Garda, Jack, Zellcore, Hodler Wallet, Ownbit, Trust, Edge, Satoshi Wallet, Atomic, Dex, Heavy Wallet, Monarch, Spend, Pay, St. Polis, Pay, Pongo, Abra, up. Wow, my goodness. Like, that's a lot of wallets. That is a lot of wallets. That's super awesome to see. Anyway, so, pull your, pull your crypto off of an exchange, especially, especially 
if it's on Poloniex right now, because they're obviously... Uh, so I think I tweeted out earlier that it was the 30th of December, that was when they were stopping the trading, but the 30th of January, I believe, is the day that you need to have it off by. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. That could be interesting. Uh, anyway, what else have we got here? So, uh, Digibyte uh, Pay, which is also Digicafe. Bunch of really cool updates happening here. So they've been looking at the, the partner stuff here. Partners receive 50% of the transaction fee from Digibyte transactions. You can get a partner code. You can auto sell your Bitcoin, auto sell uh, Digibyte's already in there uh, with Bitrix. Really cool stuff. Uh, great to see this. Actually, let's give them a like. Um, really great to see this kind of thing all happening. And they also mentioned here the iOS update is on deck. Yes, always cool. Uh, one more thing before we get into the SafePal wallet that they've sent is the Android app. So what they're saying here is the, long story short, the issue with it showing the incorrect balance at the moment is because the data that we were getting, some of it, was coming from Poloniex. Poloniex have delisted us, so there's no longer the API feed for like what the value is effectively. So we're getting that changed over to use a combination of the likes of CoinMarketCap, Bitrix, a few others and things. So if your Android and iOS app does show the wrong details, don't worry, it will be back soon. Are we still going live? My, my stream just stopped there. Yeah, it's still there. We are still live, eight watching, okay. Just making sure it's it's being really weird. Actually, why don't I quickly I'll bring this in and show. I don't know why it's doing this, but this is what I'm seeing that there's that there's data loss. So I, I don't know what it's doing. It shouldn't be 60 FPS. Everything else looks fine. CPU negligible. Whatever. Anyway, we're cool. We'll carry on. So um, I'll record it anyway, just in case. Just in case. Now. The, the juicy stuff, what we're really here for, is the SafePal wallet. So, they've gone and sent me this to do a little bit of a live unboxing, a bit of a review. Uh, similar to what I've done with some of the other ones, give my kind of raw and unfiltered two cents worth, I suppose. Um, which I seem to have a bit of a name for, but whatever. Um, so, SafePal wallet. It's actually, if we go to the shop here... The audacious investor says, what happened? Still live. Uh, the problem is, is, so I can see here, I've I've also got some other stuff um, happening in the background. I, I, I run a small ISP in the background, uh, in the evening, sorry. So I'm very much well aware with everything that is happening at the moment um, in terms of what the network is doing. Maybe I need to restart this. Let's quickly tell it to stop the stream and then redo it again, just in case. I'm trying again here. Come on, YouTube, don't let me down. It's thinking about it. Again with the 50%. I can see it's going live, so... What the hell, YouTube? No packet loss whatsoever. Anyway, what I'll do is... Let's... And I'm back. Hey! Well, that's cool. I don't know what it's doing. I... I the problem was, sorry, it was, it was last time I was doing a live stream as well. Well, not the last time, the time before, actually. And I was doing it with somebody else, and we were both having problems streaming me from New Zealand, them from America to YouTube. So I wonder if this is something YouTube specific. Look, I tell you what, if YouTube are having issues, we'll record it, we can upload it afterwards anyway. Let's see how we go. Anyway, so uh, SafePal have gone and sent me this to give my raw and unfiltered thoughts on it. And... Yeah, let's do that. So, anyway, SafePal, you can go and check them out, safepal.io. Um, you can go and order the SafePal S1 here, and it's actually, for a hardware wallet, I don't want two of them, for a hardware wallet, that's really competitive price-wise. So, a lot of the other ones, for example, I'm a big fan of my BitFi wallet, that's probably four times that price, I think, 
Um, I bought my Bitfi last year, obviously, well, I mean, it's the 4th of January here in New Zealand, of course it was last year. Um, and there's, there's obviously that big kind of, do I go ahead and buy it, or do I, like, save my funds kind of thing and put it into crypto? But if we're talking about this kind of $39 here, that's, like, that's really appealing. That's the kind of thing that you could easily recommend to your friends and family and go, look, for for 40 bucks, well, 40 bucks US, there's a little bit more New Zealand, whatever. For 40 bucks, just go and do it. Like, you wouldn't have that kind of hesitation in saying, you're going to go out and if you're going to buy a, a wallet or a purse, or you'd probably spend, you know, 50, 100 bucks, whatever, on a handbag. Go and get yourself something if it is that that kind of price so what we'll do is is it's actually really quite nice um i've already pulled it out of the initial box that came in it came in a lovely little brown box as you do um it's got the seals here that we can see which is awesome um now interestingly enough um i've got another one here as well from another hardware wallet vendor we'll go and actually we'll go into that another time they yeah these these seals are really important though because they let you know that it hasn't been tampered with along the way so you've effectively got it straight from the manufacturer's warehouse for example the firmware hasn't been messed with or anything along those lines so anyway tamper evidence seals let's go and break those now just for fun come on world's bluntest knife okay so it should open up it's kind of stuck back together in and we have inside if i was really clever i would have got the other camera set up as well the safe pal wallet so this actually looks really quite nice pretty slick not gonna lie uh the packaging looks delightful okay so in the box we've got a micro usb connection here and underneath you can see there is the SafePal logo, so I'm guessing I can pull this out. And we'll have a nice little... Come on. There we go. A bunch of cards in here. Okay, cool. The Essentials. Stickers. Gotta rip that branding. Uh, this is actually quite cool, so you can wipe down the screen, keep it nice and clean and things. And we've got a bunch of... Uh, codes. Uh, sorry, not codes. Um, mnemonic cards so you can write down and keep your private key safe three of them it's probably a good idea actually to be honest I like the idea of there being three of them so that you can basically like if you were to keep one in your home in your own safe maybe give one to your lawyer for example and three is probably better than just one uh, a few more people joining in the live stream now hey Rob it's good to see you there um, the nano has been a horse's ass. That's an interesting way of phrasing it. I don't know why that is. Uh, but anyway, we'll keep this <laughs> for now mostly about SafePal. Um, so, they say here, download the app. Um, can you integrate it with your computer like... Nah, I'll tell you what, let's just download the app. Screw it. If I was really clever, I would have actually gone and looked for the app first and foremost. So let's do a quick search on the App Store for SafePal. So, SafePal comes up, up the top always helpful there is another one here called safe pal which is confidentially report sexual violence not that safe pal this is the right safe pal <laughs> oh dear okay so while that's downloading that'll only take a second we've got this nice little micro usb cable to be honest i'm not a big fan of micro usb these days because the only thing that I actually have that is still micro USB, I think I've got them lying around here somewhere. No, I don't. The only thing that I still have is my Bose headphones and also my Bitfire wallet. Really frustrating having just those two things being micro USB. Everything else I do is type C, had USB type C for the longest time. I mean, this is a minor gripe, let's be honest, because they give you the, the charging cable but whatever, it's nice to just have the USB-C everywhere. So if we plug this in, actually, do I need to charge it? Let's try and turn it on even. One thing I will say is this is incredibly, incredibly light. Like this is really, really light. Um, power button here on the side. So let's see if I can actually get this right up to the camera here. Can you see that? Like if we're zooming in enough, yeah, there we go, in the light. You can see there's one button on the side there. So we've also got a nice little screen up the top corner, and 
up, down, left, right, and an OK button. If I kind of get that in the light there, you can sort of see it. All right, let's bring that up. So let's push and hold and power it on. Hey, look, a nice little logo. So what language am I going to be speaking here? It's going to be English. Device authentication. To make sure this device is new and authentic, please scan the coming QR code with your mobile phone. Okay, so what I should do is I take it this is now time for me to grab my cell phone. And we're going to fire up the app. Okay. Hi and welcome to SafePal. Before you start, please take one minute to complete the security settings to protect your assets and privacy. Okay, yeah, I can kind of, I can understand why they would say something along those lines. Actually, you know what? Maybe what I should do instead, we don't we don't specifically need this open on the screen here. So if I full screen video, me only. Oh, look, that's going to be a bit easier. So now you can see in a lot bigger resolution, me looking at myself because of the. <laughs> Hi and welcome to Safe Hell. Okay, let's go next and let's see what it says. Set a password. I don't know. At least eight alphanumeric. All right, let's set a password then. Password is set, so this is basically what it's asking me for. It's, it's, that's probably not even going to be in focus, but whatever. Important tips. The security... Password is an advanced password for identity, authentication, and security settings, such as fingerprint and pattern settings. Set a strong password and do not disclose it to any third party. Sorry, people, I'm not going to be telling you the password then. Once the password is forgotten, users would have to re... Users would have to initialize the password by deleting and reinstalling the app. Oh, that's not really that bad. So this is just a one-time setting for, like, the app itself. Okay. Do I want to use my fingerprint? Yep. Successfully verified. And a pattern as well? Okay, so there is a skip button at the top there. And down the bottom it says, or remind me next time. Let's do that. Okay, so going through all of this, my initial question is why? As an end user, so I'm, I kind of like to play devil's advocate here and kind of think of this like, what would my mother be thinking? If, if I said to her, go and buy this, she grabs it, she unboxes it, she's got the wallet here. It's turned off. There was no battery indicator either, so I don't know how charged it is. Like, it could actually just have been in need of a charge. She gets this, and here we go. It's coming up. It says, to make sure this device is new and authentic, scan the new QR code with your mobile phone. So, she gets that. How's she going to feel about it? What's she going to think? Like, why is she having to go through and set these passwords? So, initial thoughts, aside from just, uh, it's nice that it's obviously getting me to do this. The question is why? So, anyway, we'll tap the OK button. It's showing me a QR code. I won't show it on the screen just in case there's any kind of security implication by me doing so. But now, how do I. Ah, OK. So, up the top corner there, we've got the little QR. Everything's in reverse. It's the weirdest thing. OK, scan it. Yep, we're going to scan the QR code. We're going to scan the QR code. All right, allow SafePal to open Chrome. Sure, why are we opening Chrome? Please enter the six digits shown on your hardware wallet for further verification. I've got a QR code. Please enter the six digits shown on your hardware wallet. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing in Chrome here. That'd be really cool is if I made the background better as well. Okay, let's try that. So where is this, where are these six digits? Oh, there we go. I just had to mash the OK button a bunch of times and it finally came up. So, let me pop that in. Six. Okay. Now what we've got is it's showing me on the screen. It does actually show it, so that's quite cool. And let's push next. 
Now you've got to scan that this device is an authentic device. Oh, nice! It's always helpful. I probably sound way too excited about that. Um, and this is the first time of its authentication. Please scan the QR code right. So we're scanning it backwards. So on here, we've got a little camera on the back of it. That's quite nifty. Let's scan my cell phone. Jeepers, this is super odd. Come on, scan. Okay, please enter the six digits onto the web page for further verification. I'm doing it and nothing's happening. Let's try that again. Right, here we go, okay. Hybrid wallet is an authentic device. To confirm whether you previously, yes, I previously did this. All right, please scan the QR code. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, so I scan the QR code and all it's doing is taking me back to enter this. Can I show that up there? Please enter the six digits for authentication. So what happens then is I push the next button and I get my little camera now. I scan it. And we're back there again. Why? Okay. Maybe I need to turn it off then back on again. Very interesting. While that is turning back on, let's have a quick little look at the chat. We'll keep up to date with what's going on there. Um, people having fun with Nano S. Okay. That's cool. All right, let's do this again from scratch. So, SafePal wallet. This is back at the choose a language. We'll go next. Scan the QR code. Okay, scanned, right. Now this is still sitting here on the QR screen. I'm holding it kind of sideways just so you can see, but hopefully not scan it. Now, I've scanned it, and it says, please enter the six digits. It hasn't come up though. Okay, so we've pushed okay. Let's do this. Let's push okay again. So if we scan it the other way now, it keeps going back. I wonder if there's going to be some kind of like an update or something for this. Because right now, I can't get past this. Please scan the wallet. Interesting. Well, let's have some fun then. If we plug this in, And let's plug it into the computer. Let's see if we can do anything about a firmware update perhaps here. So, daily digibyte update, let's swap back to this. Okay. Uh, SafePal S1, latest version. I mean, I can't check it because I won't go anywhere. Download the SafePal firmware. Let's have a look. Where do I get it from? Download. Oh, I've already got it on Android. latest version into the device serial number shit I don't know what the serial number is because I can't it's not written on the box is it written on the back of it it's not written on the back of it oh, it's not written on the underside of it it's not written on the box nope okay plug your safe panel in and go to upgrade well this isn't going to work because I can't get into it Ah, 
After the upgrade is complete, please pay the wallet again. Okay. Nope. Right, so I need to be able to, I need to enter my serial number in order to get it, but in order to get the serial number, I need to have gone and successfully peered it so I can go to settings, about, and then serial number. Alright, well, this has been really interesting then. Let's grab that back off the charge, because that's not going to do anything right now. So, let's run through and try this again. Alright. Powering it up, actually tell you what, let's quickly full screen this. This is interesting. Interesting to see it's uh not happy with me. Okay. Full screen this again. So let's try this again. English, cool. Gonna push OK. Actually, can I? Let's come around here. We'll hang out together. Alright, device authentication. Alright, scan the QR code. Let's scan my QR code. Just in case, there's a little film that was over the camera. I don't think that was affecting it, but you never know. So, let's try this again. Alright, safe pal. So what I'm going to do is if we tap on this... Cool. You can see the uh, lovely sound dampening there. Yay. All right. So. Cool. So we've gone there into the six digits. I now need to push OK. Six digits. Six, four, six, three, two, eight. Let's try this again. Six, four, six, three, two, eight. So everybody else can see as well. They definitely match, like, not making this up here. Let's go authenticate. Come on. Yes, this is the same one. That's cool. I'm the first person. So, let's now take this. I need more hands. Really need more hands. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go OK. All right. Now we're going to scan this one. You can see it still says SafePal website. So, let's try this in reverse. And then we're taken back to there. I'm not going crazy, I swear. Like, I tell you what, let's. <laughs> Is there anybody in the live chat who has the SafePal app? Who wants to go and download the SafePal app? Let's have some fun and see if we can do some stupid shit over the internet right now, then. Because why not? Why not? Who wants to grab the app? Will somebody grab the app? Um, what I should do is include a link to the app. Hey, Rudy's here. Isn't it pretty late there, mate? Good to have you. Okay, so anybody, grab the... somebody. Somebody grab the app. Crypto Talk, nice to have you there. 11 p.m. <laughs> so you're, you're... yeah, you are 12 hours behind me. Okay, that's cool. Um, who wants to grab the app, though? Someone grab the app, let me know you're grabbing it, because let's try and um, set this up over the internet here. If you've got a computer and you've got your cell phone with you, let me know. We'll see if we can do this and... This hasn't exactly worked out quite like I was expecting, and I don't know why. Like, to be honest, it might be my phone. So, I have a Xiaomi phone here. And I originally purchased this literally the day after it came out in China. So, I'm still running the Chinese original ROM. Like, the official one, don't get me wrong. Um... But I'm not running the English one, which plays a lot better with the like the Play Store and permissions in terms of linking things with Chrome and the likes. 
Uh, I had this same, well not the same issue, but I had a similar issue when trying to use the, was it SafeX? Anyway, anyway, so if anybody is at their computer and they don't mind downloading uh, an app real quick, grab the SafePal app, we'll try that and I'll hold the, hold the device up and we can kind of, we'll see how that goes. Otherwise this has been not exactly a success. Like, don't get me wrong, so in terms of the actual, the hardware itself, this is gorgeous, like, it looks really nice. Super, super light. What I'll do even is I'll grab the, let's pop out the Bitfi just for a comparison here. Okay. So, we have our Bitfi and we have our SafePal. Grubby, grubby fingerprints. Apparently I have really oily hands, whatever. So in terms of the actual size though, so we have our Bitfi here, and if we kind of compare the sizes, it's pretty small. Like, it's nice, it's compact, it's... Do I have a card? Let me grab a credit card just as a bit of a comparison here. So, It is almost credit card size, like it's slightly, slightly smaller than it. You can see I was using this one to pull apart a computer. Um, it is ever so slightly smaller if I hold them both side by side like that, it's ever so slightly. So it's, it's pretty thin, like compared to a card. Let's spin around that way. It is nice. Looks great, fingerprint magnet, so I can completely understand exactly why it was that they'd gone and included gone and included this. A really nice touch. Give it a quick wipe down. Good as new, looking sharp. Screen looks great. Tiny screen, not the highest resolution. Doesn't need to be. It's enough to get the QR code out. Uh, anybody in the chat? No, it looks like everybody's either on their phone or on their PC without their phone, so that's okay. Um, really nice. Like the price. Super light. Like, quality feel to it. Can't get it going. Damn, that really sucks. <laughs> on a live stream, nonetheless, as well, so whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. What a bummer. What a bummer. Um, okay, well, I mean, that's been today's Digibyte update then, I guess. Again, really quickly, what we should do is go back and quickly cover off. We'll go daily Digibyte update. Digibyte pay, new updates, go check them out. Really cool. Get them a follow on Twitter. Uh, check out their app as well. Digibyte wallets, not your keys, not your crypto. So if you go to digibytewallets.com, download a wallet. There are tons of them, but just make sure that you get your Digibyte off of an exchange. So thank you to digibyte.community. Go check them out. They offer free community, well, sorry, not free, uh, $5 per year uh, email addresses, which you can pay for with Digibyte and with Bitcoin as well. And also, one last thing, so the the app showing the incorrect balance, again, this is because of Poloniex, where one of the uh, APIs that we were using, gonna get that changed through to CoinMarketCap, Bittrex, something along those lines. So if your wallet does show the incorrect USD value, don't worry, it will be fixed soon. Bummer about the safe pal. What can you do? Um, that was fun though. So thank you everybody for tuning in. Uh, look to do a couple more of these. I'll tell you what, let's, let's show you really quickly as well one of the other things. I've also been sent this from DCN, which is quite cool. So we'll give it a we'll give it a day or two maybe, and then we'll give them a try. Maybe next weekend we'll see how they go instead and see if it fares any better. Um, I'll keep everybody updated with the safe pal. I might grab my wife's phone, give that a try, see if it goes any better on there. Otherwise, feel free to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, share this. I really appreciate it when it does get shared. It's nice. Uh, I get asked all the time, is that actually helpful? Yes, it is. YouTube algorithms and things. Every time you hit the like button, hit the share button and things, YouTube are then subsequently more likely to pass that around. Get the good news out there about Digibyte. It's great. I love it. You can reach me on digibyte.social. Feel free to go there. Actually, let's quickly shield digibyte.social. Why not? 
If I drag it across, we can go digibuy.social. Looks really familiar if you've used Twitter at all. Um, the idea obviously being that you are in control of your own data. There's no central entity that you are specifically bound to. You can use other servers if you want as well and still interact with everybody, but the digibyte.social server is crypto friendly. So feel free to go along to www.digibyte.social, sign up and stay in control of your social data, which is pretty awesome. You can reach me there uh, or otherwise you can reach me on Twitter. I'm at DGB underscore chilling. I'll talk to you in the next video. Thank you very much for everybody tuning in. Bummer it didn't work one more time, but thank you to SafePal again for sending out this wallet. This was not a paid review or anything at all. They simply sent through a free wallet for me to give my two cents on. So, bummer about that. But yeah, thank you again for tuning in. We'll talk to you in the next video. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.